Ah, there's a new Bad Girl TV show coming up. Admit it, you guys wanted this. You asked for this. Now it's here. You needed this in your life. Because really, there aren't that many TV shows out there featuring superheroes. So this fits right in. Oh my god. I, I don't get it though. You know, you look at uh, history, especially when it comes to media, and there's usually some trends. And for example, when I grew up, you had the trend with the ancient heroes. So for example, you had Hercules, and you had Xena, and Sinbad the Sailor. Uh, usually stories that took place in the past that the superhero would, would beat them up. And then you had the spaceships, like Star Trek made spaceships po uh, popular, and you had uh, okay Andromeda and Battlestar Galactica and Stargate and all of that. And then it was with the zombies, so everything's about zombies, and everything's about superheroes. And when will they realize that enough, enough? I I don't care what. No, just stop it. Go back to spaceships. I, I would even think zombie TV shows now. But like, I, I, I'm tired of superheroes. And it's not only that, it's also that they're making them bad. I mean, l look at the costume, right? And apparently, there's people whining about, oh, well, the fans always wanted the costume like in the comics. And look, look at this. The costume is just like in the comics, you guys. It's just like in the comics. Oh, why are you complaining? Because it looks shit. Honestly, you, you got these cosplayers, which do it for free. Why not hire one of these cosplayers? I mean, look, look at this. Look, look how good this looks. Look. Looks great. Why couldn't you hire that? Why couldn't you hire this lady? There was actually a joke that... <laughs> there, there's a porno out there with Batwoman. And she looked almost like she's... From the comic books. Like, she literally looked identical. And someone asked the director of that film. It's like, why can't you guys make Batwoman look exactly like in the comics, but the actual TV show with Batwoman can't? And the director responded, because we care. This is the absolute sad state of the world we're in. They, they actually care, yes. It's, it's astonishing. But I, I'm looking at this and some people say, well, you know, this is kind of cringe, like it's uh, campy. And I'm like, yeah, you know, it looks campy. So what? Why can't you make it a show for kids that are 10 years? Because when I grew up, I had Batman. And when he would punch someone, you'd have a pow appearing on the screen. And it was like, no, 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 Batman. Man, like kids would eat this up. Like kids would love this. It, it doesn't even need to be... Like, high intellectually stimulating or anything like that. Just have Batgirl going around town and, you know, fighting with the Joker like a classic Batman thing. And it could be for kids. Like, yeah, you, you'd actually manage to sell that TV show. But again, like, these people hate money. They, they don't like money. Money is capitalism. They hate capitalism. So, ugh, money. Yeah, take it away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so they come up with this cringe. And it's also, it's like, you know, like the, the thing. I know it's from Batgirl year one. I don't care. It's like... I use their expectations against them. Uh, that will be their weakness, not mine. Let them all underestimate me, and when their guard is down and their pride is rising, let me kick their butt. Well, <clears throat> hold on. Don't you have expectations that they're weaker than you then? Aren't you the one underestimating them? Uh, you, you know, like this, this whole empowering bullshit, it's like... Th the concept of empowering is something that I find cringe. So, it's not your parents that get to empower you. You don't get to empower yourself. No, you need to wait for corporations, for profit dollar corporations, which shows you this shit. We're like bad woman, sorry, bad girl, which is going out and is going to beat up men twice her size. Yeah, that, that's empowering. Okay, don't try that in the real world. You know, they used to have disclaimer for morons. It's like, don't try that at home. They don't do that anymore, right? No, this is realistic. This is... I remember um, when I stopped watching uh, Gotham. In Gotham, you had, like, Catwoman. And Catwoman, I, I don't even know her age, but I think she was played by an actress that was 18 or something. Like, she was a kid. And she's fighting, like, six guys. Like, she's going into an alleyway, and there's, like, these six guys with crowbars and stuff, like, attacking her. But for no reason. It's, like, it's just, like, because it's a dangerous hood, I guess. Uh, so, so it wasn't sexual or anything, but just they, they just wanted to beat her up. And she manages to beat up all those six guys. I'm like, get the fuck out! Get the fuck... It's like... 
The only way she can do that is if she has a Glock. But, you know, I mean, Hollywood and, and guns, they don't go well together. Uh, and, and it was the same with... Um, I remember, like, I, I even made a video on this channel. I forgot its title, but it, for those of you who watch my videos religiously, you probably know it. It was also in Gotham, but it had Bruce Wayne. And, and he was a kid. And he gets attacked by three dudes. Like, three grown-ass adults. And during the fighting scene... They they had the stunt double because you can tell like if you pause the video you you can tell that there's a stunt double fighting the adults because it's so ridiculous like you could you couldn't show a kid fighting adults so you know like it's with his back turned and uh, it, it is just so cringe please stop the cringe I, I mean it's going to fail even before seeing it I'm telling you it's not going to sell why are you doing this. Make something with spaceships. But I guess, like, spaceship costs money. You know, you know what? It pisses me off, okay? The Expanse, very popular. Everyone likes it. But it's too expensive to make. And meanwhile, you have Star Trek Discovery, which is a lot more expensive to make. And it gets, like, five seasons, even though no one watches it. How, how do we get to this point? It, it is so sad. Uh, the selfie. Yes. Not to mention, like, a superhero that wants to preserve their identity. Why would they make selfies? Like, you, you would want the cameras to be off you for as long as possible. Like, dude, I guarantee to you, if Bad Girl was real, it would take 4chan two days to figure out her identity. Especially, like, when she's a high-profile person. Like, oh, the daughter of the commissioner. Bad Girl is set to release on HBO Max. Okay, thank you for telling me when not to tune into HBO Max. It will star these people. Uh, previously discussed how Bad Girl would explore a time when Barbara Gordon is coming to grips with who she is and who she is destined to become. Shot and molested by the Joker. Uh, what's kind of a funny about Barbara Gordon and Bad Girl is that the story she is discovering Bad Girl for the first time. So she's going to explore a duality she's always had in her personality, but it's a blah, blah, blah. I, I, I gotta say, at least there's no identity politics here. At least there's no misogyny and sexismus. Like, it, it actually tells you about uh, the story. Like, for those of you who don't know, like, if you watch uh, an anime, which is made by actual progressive people, High Guardian Spice. It's like they're training to become guardians and to save the world, but they... Throughout the anime, you don't know what the world is in danger of. Like, who, who's attacking the world? Why are they training? You know, who are they going to fight? They don't even mention that. You know, it's all about the message. Like, the progressive message. Because one of the guardians used to have, like, a transgender dad who became a mom. And that, like... <laughs> I mean, that is the focus. But who are they going to save the world from? Not so much. So, at least, I guess, in this TV show, they actually talk about the superhero. So, I'll tell you what. From a superhero standpoint, like, maybe this... Could potentially be good. But I am so sick and tired of superheroes at this point. That I'm not even going to give it a watch. Like I, I just want something else. Give me At this point I'll take the zombies. Just give me the zombies. Give me give me the spaceships. Give me Hercules. Give me some. No not, not even Hercules. That's too close to superhero. Don't, don't give me Hercules. Give me, give, me, give me whatever. Give me the west. Look you, you can make wild westerns again. Why can't you do that? Why do you think uh, The Mandalorian is so popular? Because it's like an old western. Anyway, right. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.